Country Reefs 88. Uh, I want to apologize for not having any videos the last couple days. Um, I've been trying to get everything done. So, as you can see, my tank is starting to get really filthy. Um, I think I'm having a diatome uh, bloom right now, which is a, a good good sign. Um, here, there's a good picture for you. It means it's, it's it's actually going through the cycle phase right now. The stuff on the live rock is uh, some of it's starting to die off, um, creating the nitrogen cycle that uh, starts up your tank and, and forms the good bacteria. Um, one thing I do notice is I do need to get some power heads in here. I face those um, bulkheads down or the uh, for a little flow down below. Um, I know I'm gonna probably get two or three. I was actually thinking about getting two WP40 or 25s. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those before, but they're actually kind of cool. Um, they're actually the wave makers. They're kind of like the I believe it's called Vortex um, or Vortec. I think they're kind they're like that. Only um, they're Chin like the Chinese brand. I think they're. I've I've seen a lot of them. I've seen people I know have tried them out, and they say really good things about them. So I'm gonna try them out. Um, other than that, probably the next things I'm gonna have to get for this is the power heads. Um, I think that's only the big only big purchase I really need is just more power heads in here. I was actually thinking about getting another light and putting it um, side by side up top, but that, besides that, that's it. And then down below, I, there are some changes that I did make. As you can see, the protein skimmer is not on the left side. I was having some issues keeping water in this this uh, chamber right here, and then the pro protein skimmer was actually causing bubbles to drop down into the protein skimmer or the uh, chamber down here, causing the return pump to put bubbles into my dis display tank. And I don't know if you guys know or any experienced reefers out there micro bubbles are a pain in the butt so I went ahead and put it on the intake uh, chamber over here and it's actually working out really really well it's been working really good too and when I switched it over I changed it out and the amount of crud and uh, protein that it actually skimmed out was ridiculous it was pitch like almost pitch black it was, it was that, that bad other than that, that's about it. I do need to clean up some of my wires. Um, I went ahead and mounted a power strip up top with my uh, timer. So I'm gonna try and try and do my best to clean that up a little bit more. Um, other than that, you can see down here, I'm having, I think that's, I think, I think that's cyanoallergy. Um, I don't know if that's part of the, the bloom or the, uh, the process of cycling up, but, but it, if all else falls, I'll just get a good cleanup crew for my refugium. As you can see, I don't know if you can, right here, Mr. my uh, macro algae is actually starting to take off a lot. I've noticed these things starting to grow, and even in there's some of the sand over here that have grown out of the sand. So I'm kind of happy with the light that I bought. It seems like it's been doing a really, really good job on growing my macro algae. So as, as soon as I start getting a lot of this stuff, I can maybe start selling it to other hobbyists around around where I'm at. Um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys another update. The rocks, uh, DIY rocks, are coming out really nicely. I will make another video, maybe tomorrow or Saturday. Um, but the big rock that I made actually came out really, really well. I had a couple of the, p the pieces kind of break off, but they actually it turned out better than expected. So I can't wait to show that off to you guys. I'm going to give that at least two to three weeks to cure in the bucket doing weekly water changes at maybe 40% water changes. Um, just so that I can get the... Because the concrete, or the, the cement and the salt do cause the pH to raise, so until I get that cured and not putting it in my tank yet. Other than that, I'm, I'm debating whether getting fish for the tank to put in there to help after the, after the process, kind of like, so that I don't lose uh, the bacteria in there, because I know if you don't keep feeding your tank, 
the ammonia that it needs to for the the good bacteria to survive. I know it's it's bad, so I'm debating on whether I want to get a fish or something else in there. Uh, any suggestions? Just go ahead and leave it below. Um, and also, I got a question for you guys. I'm since I've, my my cycle has already started, and you can tell definitely. Um, if I put the new rock in there. I was wondering if I put the new rock in there, will it go ahead and start another cycle if I put new rock in there, or it will be okay? So, if you guys can go ahead and just help me out, uh, comment below. And, of course, if you guys like my video, go ahead and like down below and subscribe. Thanks, guys.